Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to NXT Gold Rush. Our second premium live event for NXT and we are kicking things off with a triple threat match. And it is for the NXT North American Championship. Here we have Akira Tassaro who managed to beat the North American Champion Dijak a couple of weeks ago. And so he earned this title shot, but he's also going up against another person who earned the title shot as well. Cameron Grimes, when, he, when Cameron beat Akira Tazawa this past Tuesday. So now it was a triple threat match for the North American Championship. Akira looking to bring gold to Alpha Academy. And here comes the second challenger in this triple threat matchup. Here comes Cameron Grimes. Grimes has been looking for his first singles title in WWE. And if he can win this triple threat matchup, it just might well be his time to shine. But this is a triple threat match. You only have 33 and a third percent chance of winning this matchup, especially the champion. He's at a disadvantage with no disqualifications and no countouts. And he doesn't even have to be the final factor in the matchup. If a character Zara or Terry Grimes pinned each other, then Dijak loses his title. But Cameron Grimes been waiting for his moment for so long. Let's see if he's able to get it. And here comes the final competitor in this matchup, the NXT North American Champion himself. Here comes Dijak. Dijak has been through so much for the past few years. And he's finally made it to the top. He is finally a singles champion. He is now your NXT North American champion. But this is this is his uh this is his second uh a title defense here. The first one was against Nathan Fraser, who he beat so bad that we haven't even seen Fraser in so long. And now his second title defense is a triple threat. Will the big man be able to hold off his opponents? Or will he be losing that title? And for the NXT North American Championship. Great people, this ring is going to get crazy. So much could happen here. We could be seeing a new champion. But this is the second multi-man title match. The first one was at... A backlash for Seth Rollins World Heavyweight Championship and Seth came out on top in that match. But this triple threat, it could go crazy either way. And now look at this. Cameron Grimes trying to come into the action, but Dijak puts a stop to it. And Dijak, oh, using his size to overpower the rest of the competitors. Now Big Irish Rip. The Kira Tassara gets his attention turned to Grimes. Now Grimes, the one fully standing, but gets caught with an elbow. And oh, look at this. Big show of power by Cameron Grimes. But Dijak comes in hot with the neck breaker. Now look at this. Oh, Jesus, a poison Rana. And now Dijak taking advantage. Hits with a power bomb. I told you this match gets crazy. 
with multiple superstars. Look at this combination by Akira Tozawa. Now Dijak anxious to fight him off against Colin a floor smash by Cameron Grimes. This is the type of match that gets hectic. As soon as you think you put somebody down, somebody comes in from behind and puts a stop to you. Dijak gets his payback on Grimes there. And we have three superstars that are definitely worthy of winning this matchup. We have Cameron Grimes looking for his first title defense. First title. First singles title. First title that he can hold. And then you have Akira Nozawa looking to bring some more gold to Alpha Academy. And then you have Dijak, the champion, taking the head. Oh, Jesus. Dijak, so brutal. So much power in his attacks. And now we're currently on the outside. You saw that chair get used. But hang on a second. Double team DDT to Akira Nozawa. Spiking him right on the outside. Remember, no disqualification as you saw Cameron Grimes use that steel chair right to the head of Akira Tozawa. And there goes blood on the face of Dijak off of that DDT by Tozawa. Blood is flowing on the face of Dijak. Big elbow from a Tozawa. Now Dijak fighting back here looking for a cover here. One, two, and a kick out by Tozawa. Tozawa looking to bring the North American Championship to match with Chad Gable's United States Championship. But Tozawa has been going crazy in this matchup. Did you see that springboard poison Rana from Tozawa? Like, if I'm not mistaken, I think you could pretty much place your bet on Akira Tozawa winning. He's been going crazy ever since the start of the bell. Now look at this. What shining wizard. But Dijak breaks it up. Now it gets, oh, manages to avoid that boot by Dijak. And into the corner. And what's Akira Tozawa thinking? Oh, floor smash to Dijak. And Tozawa has got himself a, a, a candlestick. Try to use it. But Cameron Grimes too fast. In a big snake eyes. Tozawa still fighting back here. Dijak better be careful. He better wake up soon. Otherwise, he could be close to losing his title. But look at this. Akira Tozawa with a big body slam. Now he's climbing to the middle rope. Kicks away. Dijak there. I think he's trying to go for that. Middle whoop sent on bomb. Dijak decided to stop in his tracks before uh, Kira would go for that springboard. But oh! Dijak hits Grimes with that big boot. And now what's Dijak looking for? I think he was looking for something, but he hesitated. And oh, big arm drag there. And a sledgehammer from Tazawa. Right to the ribs of Cameron Grimes and now look at this big body slam to Dijak Tozawa gets caught with that drop kick into a giant suplex on him right on the back of the neck and now Grimes gonna see with the referee the camera position was off but I think he went for that ripcord knee strike Cameron Grimes it was something big, but it was miscalculated. And oh, Jesus, the cave in. We could see a new champion. Dijak could be losing this title. Cameron Grimes could finally do it. And no, Cameron Grimes couldn't get the job done there. Dijak was able to kick out of the cave in. I don't know how. Maybe it's just Dijak showing his resiliency, but he was able to kick out of the cave-in. And now in the middle of the ring, Tozawa, Grimes, and now Dijak. 
big arm drag, deep one. Now look at this, Hurricane Rana. And a big standing senton. Sazawa's going crazy, but Dijak, look at the stop him into a neck breaker. I'm pretty sure the end is near, folks. Look at this. Oh, a counter by Dijak. And now Cameron Grimes. He's got himself a Kendall stick. All oh, right to the spine of Dijak. And up to the spine of Tozawa. And now he goes for the cover. This could be it. New champion. Cameron Grimes could do it here. And no. Dijak. With another kick out. Big forearm smash. Cameron Grimes gets so close to beating the champion. But every time something gets in the way. Big strikes right there. But wait, hang on a second. Akira Tazawa did the see Dijak. Feast your eyes. Into the cover. Akira Nozawa, this could be it for him, and it is. Dijak remains your North American champion. What an incredible matchup that was. Henry Grimes just about almost put an end to this matchup. But due to Akira Nozawa being oblivious to Dijak, Dijak is still your champion. Here we go, folks. The main event of part one of our NXT Gold Rush. We have, it is for the NXT Tag Team Championships. The NXT Tag Team division has been on fire lately, but could we be getting new champions in the D'Angelo family? Tali D'Angelo and Shannon Stacks Lorenzo. Dex and D'Angelo, former NXT Tag Team Champions. Been looking for a to get them back once more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But there's a problem. The Imperium, they've been running rough, rough shot over the NXT titles for a pretty long time. I mean, they won those titles back in, in last season in NXT UK, and then they diverted that title to the NXT Tag Team titles. And speaking of, here comes Imperium, the NXT Tag Team Champions. The NXT Tag Team Champions is here. Accompanied by Gunther. Gunther, a former king of the ring. Maybe he could win it again this season. But right now he is accompanied by his current NXT Tag Team Champions. Ludwig Geyser and Giovanni Vinci. They've been... This season, Imperial managed to put a stop to chase you. Make sure they didn't get the tag team titles at uh, NXT Battleground. But now they got the big boss here. The ring general is here. And the pressure stays on with these two. They don't want to dis disappoint the ring general. Vic Kaiser, Giovanni Vinci, and that man. Gunther has been, who last season gets really, really close to finally getting the championship. I mean, he was the finalist at the King of the Ring tournament. And then he almost ended up beating Finn Dollar for the World Heavyweight Championship last season. So I wonder, could this season be the season 
that Guter finally wins the big one. But right now, that doesn't matter. Right now, it's the NXT Tag Team Championships. The D'Angelo family take it on Imperium. This is to main event part one of Gold Rush. They looking ready to get the titles back. But Imperium are going to do whatever it takes to keep the titles. This should be an excellent showcase of tag team wrestling here, folks. Especially since the uh, Dusty Classic is going to be coming up right after our women's only premium live event, Dragon's Rise. I'm pretty sure these two are on the list of teams that will be in the tournament. So that's interesting. And starting off this match will be Stax and Giovanni Vinci. And we already got the power game here by Vinci. Big power slam there. Vinci has an insane amount of power. But Stax has the speed. But Vinci also has the speed and he also has agility. Vinci has a lot going on for him. But he's also got to rely on his partner, Ludwig Kaiser, as well. The same way Stax is relying on Tony D'Angelo, the Don of WWE. And the D'Angelo family is doing pretty good so far. Taking it straight to Giovanni Vinci. He's only had a little bit of offense, but here's that neck breaker. Now Vinci. Oh, big short on clothesline, but he's not finished. Another clothesline. Looks like he's going for a third short arm clothesline. And now Vinci is back in the game here, folks. Now he's looking to tag out. Uh, Ludwig is now the legal competitor in this matchup. And oh, he's taking it straight to the D'Angelo. And this boot right on the jaw. Ludwig Kaiser not afraid to play a little dirty. He goes with a quick cover here. In a two count. That, uh, those close on must have rocked him a little bit. But Tony D'Angelo trying to fight back here. Got... Ludwig in the corner. And uh, what is the rain general doing? He's got himself a weapon. I don't know why Gupta thinks pulling out a weapon. Well, but look at this springboard by Kaiser. But Obig is caught with that kick. Now to the outside, goes back in. And Tony D'Angelo, they're going to put a stop to it. Big hat suplex. Now into the corner. I think he's looking for a tag out here. He does. Looking for a little tag team maneuver. Big double shoulder tackle. Now Gunther steady trying to uh, get in the heads of the D'Angelo family. But Stax and Tony are doing pretty good so far. Without all these interruptions. And now tagging back in Tony D'Angelo. And that way, hang on a second. There's Gunther continuing to play around, trying to distract Tony D'Angelo to give Luffy Kaiser a chance. I think he just might have done it. Big close line. Just about decapitating the head of D'Angelo. And now, yeah, I said, using those dirty tactics to get an advantage over the opponents. Now look at this, Giovanni Vinci, springboard to the outside, big springboard crossbody. 
As I said, the athleticism of Giovanni Vinci is so incredible, but Stax gets the hot tag in. Looking for an Irish whip. Pull back into the knee, right to the midsection. Big elbow right to the back. Stax is feeling fired up here, but Giovanni Vinci looking to take him down. And you saw that quick glimpse of Gunther. Gunther is definitely playing outside interference here. While Monk Vinci is taking it straight to Stax. And what's Vinci doing? Oh, suicide dive from Stax. Going straight at Vinci, but it also hit Gunther as well. For sure, Gunther did not like the fact that he got targeted off of that suicide dive, and this distracted him for Vinci. Uh oh, Vinci with the takedown, big slam there into the cover. One, two, no. The cover got broken up by Tony D'Angelo. Vinci believed that would be the end of the matchup. But now he's looking for the true ending. But Stax, big counter. Now look at this. Lifting him up. Face first. And the hot tag. Ludwig is in. Goes for an immediately cross chop right to the neck. As I said, he likes to use those dirty tactics. But will it be enough to put this match away so that Imperium could still be the tag team champions. Look at that butterfly suplex. But Stax immediately gets back up. Fully fired up. He's going to keep going to get the tag team titles. And Luffy springboard crossbody. Now Ludwig trying to keep targeting. Oh! Big uh, attack right there to the jaw and the air raid crash into the cover to kick out. Stax is still going to keep fighting, but for how much longer? He's got to quickly tag out if he wants a chance of winning this the tag team titles. Looks like he's going to try to do that, taking Ludwig right into the corner. Now look at this, Irish whip. Oh, hits them down hard into the cover. One, I leave a one count as Giovanni Vinci was able to break it up. Tony D'Angelo was almost able to put this match with him. But wait, I think he's looking for it. Hits it hard. Oh, their lights into the cover. And we have a new NXT Tag Team Champions. The D'Angelo family has once again become the NXT Tag Team Champions. And Gunther is pretty much upset with Imperium for the fact that they was not able to keep the titles. But what a way to end part one of NXT Go Rush. The next time we see you, it'll be part two. Two. Congratulations are in order.